Hey YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here, and today I'm going to be putting together a meal in a bag. This particular meal in a bag is known, well the meal itself, is known as an ultimate comfort food. And if you haven't guessed already by being able to see what's here in this jar, um, let me tell you that it will be homemade, do-it-yourself, meal in a jar, macaroni and cheese. So why don't you come along with me and we'll see how it's done. Okay, first of all, I have a Mylar bag that I will be putting this meal in a bag in. And I've already taken the time to um, write what it is, today's date, and then how to rehydrate it and cook it up. Okay, and the, what I use meal in a bag for is my emergency food storage, but I also now have replaced my microwave meals with meals in a bag. So they're really versatile. You can pretty much do anything with them. They're great for camping, hiking, and as I said, emergency food preparation, um, or just to have it in your cupboard for those days when you've had a rough day and you don't really feel like putting together a whole bunch of ingredients and cooking something. You can just take this out, dump it in a pan, put water in it and cook it and you're done. Okay, so let's get started on this one, particular one, the macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is uh, start with some macaroni pasta. Now this macaroni has actually been pre-cooked and dehydrated. The reason for that is because it will cook up faster um, when we're doing our meal. If you use regular macaroni without pre-cooking and dehydrating it, it can be cooked by just sitting in boiling water. However, it will take longer and it will also be really starchy. But with having already cooked it, rinsed it, drained it, and dehydrated it, we've taken out that um, extra starch that's in there. So it's also going to be um, healthier to eat it. But as I said, this is just dehydrated macaroni. I don't know how well you can, you can see that. but Okay, so I'm going to put in here two-thirds of a cup of this dehydrated macaroni. I'm just going to put it right in the bag. Now we're going to put together ingredients for the sauce. For that I'm actually going to put it in a small snack size zipper bag. You can use any baggie that you want. Um, the reason for using the baggie is to keep the dry ingredients separate from the pasta. Depending on how many years from now that I use it, if the dry ingredients go rancid, I can still use the pasta and at least have something to eat if it were a dire emergency. So that's one of the reasons or the biggest reason that I separate the powdered ingredients from other ingredients in my meals in a bag. We're going to start out with our cheese sauce by adding one tablespoon of powdered milk. Now I have mine stored in a mason jar because I've already opened the original container and this will help it to last um, years longer than it would in the original container. But this is Neato milk. It is not a non-fat dry milk. It's a powdered whole milk. And I just like the flavor and the consistency way better than a non-fat dry milk. Okay, we're going to put in here one tablespoon, right in the baggie, of this powdered milk. ingredient is a 
powdered cheese. Now this is Augustin Farms cheese blend. And I do use a lot of Augustin Farms products. With this, I'm, I'm really a cheese lover. So I'm going to put three tablespoons of this cheese powder into the baggie. One. Two. Three. You don't have to use quite as much if you don't want, but I do find that it gives it a really good cheesy flavor and a... Um, thicker, creamier consistency. Next we're going to add butter, powdered butter. And to the amount we'll be adding is one and a half teaspoons. It's teaspoons, not tablespoon. So this is one and then one half. Then the last ingredient is going to be just a dash of salt. I prefer no salt, but personally, it just gives it that little added extra flavor that you need in it with the salt in there. And by the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but this is um, for one serving. So this is one serving. If you want to cook up more or to have more servings, you can double or even quadruple the recipe for four. Double for two and quadruple for four. And as you see, I um, did not seal the... I started to, but I caught myself. I did not seal up the baggie, but I did roll it up to get it as airtight as I could. And then I'm just going to place it into the macaroni, into the bag with the macaroni. Again, um, back to the doubling or tripling or quadrupling the recipe, you can also put them in mason jars and seal them up with your vacuum sealer attachment and set them on the cupboard and have, have a whole meal for the family, like, you know, like I said, by doubling or whatever the meal, you can make more servings. That's common sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, sometimes I just amaze myself. Anyway, that's all we need to do to put these ingredients in the bag. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, because we're not finished yet, we've got the ingredients in there, but we need to do something that's going to help preserve this meal and keep it in our storage for a long time. So I'm going to grab some oxygen absorbers, and they're right here. <laughs> These are 300 cc oxygen absorbers that I purchased on Amazon. And what these will do is they will absorb the oxygen and nitrates out of this bag once it is sealed. They'll absorb it into, it's into the absorber. It'll absorb all the oxygen and it will um, dry out the air will cause this meal to last anywhere from five to ten years depending on the storage situation um, as long as it's stored in a cool dry dark spot that should last a, a full ten years but it can be dependent upon the humidity and other things too as far as um, the length of time it will last but you want to keep your oxygen absorbers in something that will seal and keep them fresh um, and that's why I put the it, them in this mason jar because it does seal up and it keeps them fresh and they will last and be active longer okay so now what I'm going to do is close it up because I've got the oxygen absorber in there as you see I kind of pushed out as much air as I could this is a happens to be Boy, I'm all over the place today. I apologize for that. <laughs> this Mylar bag <laughs> happens to be one with a Ziploc closure. I prefer those. And it also is an expandable one so that it will set up on the counter when I'm filling it or when we put the water back 
water in it to rehydrate the meal. And I really prefer these Mylar bags. This one is seven mils thick. You want to get some get Mylar bags that are at least five mil thick so that they will be able to uh, last throughout the years like you want them to. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and close the zipper on this one. And then I'm gonna grab my hair straightener and seal the bag. So hang on and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and I am back. Got my curl my curling iron, <laughs> my straightening iron plugged in and it's all heated up and warm. And something I forgot to mention, you can obviously tell that my videos are not scripted by me forgetting everything all the time. <laughs> anyway, I kind of want to, you saw how it was all puffy here? Kind of puffy, and I want to kind of move it around in here so that it's a little more flat, so that when I stack them for storage, sorry about the noise, when I stack them for storage, they'll lay flatter and take up less room. I do keep them in tote, in the plastic totes, so just in case you were wondering. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the straightening iron, and it's just the straightening iron that's used for hair. I have it on the high setting. It has high, low, or off, this one does. I have it on the high setting. You wanna get it highest as you can to get it as hot as you can. Okay, I'm just gonna take it, the top, at the top of the bag. I'm just gonna, you can see where I'm placing it so that I'm not getting the zipper part. I don't want to seal that up, but we want to seal above the zipper so that air cannot get in and spoil the food that's in there. The oxygen absorber will take out what's in there and sealing it will keep any additional air from going in to the bag. And as you can see, I just held it there for like 30 seconds maybe. And as you can see, it is sealed. Okay, and that is all there is to this part of the meal. What I'm going to do is um, come back in a couple of days and show you how to rehydrate or cook the meal itself. So um, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you liked this video, please click on the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so. And make sure you click on that little bell that's next to the subscribed button and choose all. That way um, you will be notified every time I put out a new video on YouTube. And that would include the one coming up for how to uh, rehydrate and cook the macaroni and cheese meal in a bag. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I don't get a lot of comments, so I do read and answer all of them. Um, and again, if you like this video, in addition to clicking on the like button, please share it with others so that they can learn as well. That's all for today. So until next time, happy prepping and God bless.